Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be deep cleaning my kitchen. And right now we are just starting out with these dishes. Um, I really didn't have a lot of dishes like I normally do. But these are just some dishes that um, me and my daughter and my niece had throughout the day.
So once I got done cleaning the dishes, I just started cleaning off this area of the counter. Um, lately, my kitchen has just become my dump room where I just dump everything in <laughs> my kitchen on the counter. So this kitchen has really been needed to be cleaned for a long time now. So I'm just I'm putting things away and just reorganizing this part of the actual counter. And then we're going to start cleaning the microwave. Speaking of the microwave, y'all do not judge me. I have not cleaned this microwave in, a, I think, like two months, two, three months. Um, I suffered, well, I used to suffer from postpartum depression. And I just really didn't have the urge to clean. And that is why this microwave looks like this. So, y'all don't judge me. That is why we are cleaning today. And the um, cleaning supplies I'm using to clean this microwave is awesome and I'm also using some um soft scrub and it took me about like 10 minutes to clean out this microwave because I really had to scrub and get down and like the um brown parts that you guys see around like the ring that part is actually like of the actual microwave like my um, microwave is white as you guys can see and parts of it actually chip so some brown parts are not dirt it's just from a different part of the microwave um, from the actual paint chipping.
so my camera cut off um on the last part so i didn't get a chance to actually show you guys the finished look of the actual microwave but now i'm just cleaning the inside of the microwave door and this is the last part that you guys are going to actually see of the microwave but i guess you guys can kind of see how much of a transition it is from when i first started until now All right, y'all, so now we are going to clean. I don't know what this part of the stove is called. I'm just going to call it a part of a stove. <laughs> I don't know the proper name for it. But so now we are cleaning this part of the stove. This isn't really that bad. It's honestly just a few crumbs. So that's why I just wiped it down. And no, this is not the same sponge that I use to wash the dishes. I have one sponge for dishes and one sponge just strictly for cleaning. And I actually had to get a new sponge um, from my closet. But anyway, I'm just really wiping this down. It's not really that dirty. And if you guys can see, the top right part of the actual stove has like crumbs of stuff on it. Because if you guys can, well, you guys can't see from this video. But um, like that part of the stove and from how my counter is, it is uneven. So whenever something gets to like that part of the actual counter, it tends to like get stuck in there and the only time I could really wipe it down is when I lift up this part of the stove so I guess you guys could kind of see a little bit now like how it's pretty much uneven it's not really level so now I'm just taking off the eye and the other part of the actual um burner of the stove so that way I can actually get around and clean like the rings off of the stove and I'm just still using um the salt scrub the stove really wasn't clean. I mean, it really wasn't dirty. I just had like a couple of um, like grease marks and everything else, but my stove actually really wasn't that bad.
now I'm just cleaning off the actual um part of the stove. This part had well this is the actual part of the microwave. So this part is actually um a lot dirty. Well it's not like dirty dirty, but it just really needed to be cleaned. So right now I'm just using um some Dawn dish soap and I'm just wiping that part down. And then once I get done with this, I'm gonna be cleaning off the eye of the stove. Um I'm still using some Dawn dish soap and some awesome for this. Let me know if I'm actually supposed to wipe this down. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have, like, Googled it or YouTube it, but it was dirty. It had a lot of crumbs on it, so I'm like, this is getting wiped down, too. And I didn't really have any room in my drying rack from all the dishes that I just washed. So I just had to um put it to the side in an actual sink and let it dry that way. Alright y'all, so for this part, I'm just cleaning off the other end of the counter. I'm just putting things in the cabinet and just putting things where they should have been a long time ago. So yeah, now I'm just um, cleaning off this part of the actual counter. And then in a couple of seconds, you guys are just going to see me wipe down the counter with a Clorox wipe. So now we are pretty much done with the kitchen. Now I'm just sweeping out the kitchen floor, just getting off um, any little crumbs that I forgot. And I really didn't have much to clean. Um, I already deep cleaned my fridge, as you guys saw. And I really just needed to just wash dishes and clean off the counter. Um, I do need to like rearrange the cabinets and like rearrange my pantry, but that's gonna be like in a totally separate video. I just didn't wanna do too much in one day and just overwhelm myself. And now I'm just actually mopping the floor. And I bought some Watermelon Fabuloso. And this smells so good. 
and it has my floor smelling extremely good. Thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.